So an awesome way to work in ZBrush is with the Z Modeler brush. Um, it's really good for hard surfaces like this. And here you can see a base that I've made using that. And you can see that there are no interior faces on this. I basically just outward facing polygons. Both the bottom and the top suffer from the same thing. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, if you're not going to show it, if you're going to hide it with other objects, well then who cares? It's actually a more optimal workflow. But if you wanted to see what's on the other side, we, we could hit double and we could see what's on the inside. But I'm going to take it off just to avoid confusion here. So with this, uh, I'll also press Shift D and turn off dynamic uh, subdivisions so we can have a look at what we have. And you'll notice that by default, if I decide I'm going to smooth this, I can go to my transform menu, turn on symmetry, put on the Y axis and maybe the radial of 20 or so. I'm going to press Shift F so we can just see our, our surface here and I'm going to start smoothing this and you can see we can start smoothing away all of the details that we had earlier on if we decide we no longer want it but as we approach the top polygons here the top row all of this stuff is smoothing but look what happens at these this row of edges up here as I get to that they don't actually change in 3d space they're basically still there so they haven't reduced I'm smoothing everything but those are holding place, so they don't actually change position. So if you did, did want them to change, the reason that's happening, and I'll just undo this, is because in the brush settings, and I've just docked the brush menu over here, you can see that underneath the smooth brush modifier, which is what we're using when we press shift, the minimum connected points is three. So if we look at our model here, I'm going to press shift D, so we turn off dynamic mode, and just zoom in on a point, you can see that this point here, ZBrush, ZBrush, as far as it's concerned, is connected to two edges, this being one of them. And then this, these two open edges are just considered one edge. So there's basically only two edges on this. So we're saying that uh, here that the minimum connected points to smooth must be three. So don't smooth anything with two edges. So that's why we can hold down shift and it will smooth all of these things. But as soon as we get up to this edge, it's just not going to do it. So the way around that, is to change this minimum point to two or one. And if I do that now, you'll see that this point smooths down nicely. And if I zoom out a little bit, take a larger brush, we can see that, that stuff is smoothing away and reducing in size. So we can smooth at our leisure. One thing to be aware of is if you do change this down to just two, you'll see sometimes you'll have an edge that looks like this, where there's an extra point on this. You may have done used a Ziri mesh, and you start smoothing over here and thinking, yeah, this is smoothing. That's all good. It's smoothing, smoothing. And then you come over here and suddenly there's a refresh problem here. But suddenly these outside edges, these points remain and they won't smooth. So the reason for that is the same as before. It looks at this one point, And as far as ZBrush is concerned, this is only one edge. Even though it looks like there's an edge on either side of this, it's only, it treats it as one edge. And the same for here. So even though we're turning a corner, it's looking at this saying, well, there's actually only one edge that's connected to that. So that's why this minimum connected would have to be set to one in order for this to also smooth. And once we do that, you can see both of these will now smooth as expected. So you won't be able to do that if you set it to two, you may need to set it to one. There's no harm in setting it to one when, when you're working on, on anything else, if you ever want to do this. So you can almost just kind of assume that you can just set everything down to one and it will always work. It will always smooth. Just remember to set it back if you don't want this behavior later on, but the default is three. Hope this tip helps. As usual, feel free to subscribe, like, or comment below. I'm always interested in your opinions. And if you have any other tutorials that you'd like to see, please do let me know. Cheers. Bye.